Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got a special preview for you guys today. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Ming 132nd scale Fokker DR1 triplane. And as you can see on the cover here, we have the red triplane flown by the World War I ace Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron. And beautiful looking kit. A little history before we get into the actual kit itself, I should let you know about uh, you may or may not know, the kit that is inside this box was going to be the Wingnut Wings kit. Uh, you know, yes, the famous Wingnut Wings kit. Now, Ming has always done all of the molding for Wingnut Wings, and with what's happening in the world, uh, and Wingnut closing down, the kit went over to, to Ming to be released. Just this particular one, none of their other older kits or anything, but just this one right here. So this is the quality of a Wingnut Wing kit. It's going to be very plentiful. There are plenty of them around, so you won't have any problem getting them. And I'm really super excited about this. It's kind of weird, though, guys. Think about how famous this airplane is, the most iconic. Even people who don't know any history about World War I immediately see this one and know what it is. I mean, it's, it's a World War I airplane. You would have thought something like this would have been out a long, long time ago. But I'm glad we have it out right now. Now, I wanted to actually do this video a lot, lot, lot um, earlier than what I've been done, than being done right now. But uh, we've had some problems in the world with shipping, and shipping has been coming a nightmare lately. Obviously, as you can imagine, with the pandemic that's going on, there's very little air freight going on because there's very few commercial air fly lines flying around the world, and most of their cargo holes were, were you know, filled up with cargo not just the uh, the luggage from from passengers so that has come to almost a standstill and then that makes sea freight which is by cargo container even slower yet in fact we've had some containers right now that were coming from Europe over to us that have been locked up in for about three weeks now in uh, Halifax with some strikes that are going on at the port so it's really put a damper on a lot of stuff coming in and these were delayed a little bit but they're here now so we're super excited about that We've got them both in our store and online on our website, andyshhq.com. So I want to take a look at this one. I do plan on building this one. In fact, I've kind of pushed all my other projects to the side for right now because I do want to, I wanted to do an airplane. And one day I'll have to show you my Wingnut Wings collection. Even though I'm not a huge airplane builder, I've got quite a few airplanes put aside. But uh, really want to do this one up and share it with you. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about the t-shirts that we have right here and a few other things. I also want to mention to you, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. You can hit the button right down in the corner there. It's our little symbol down there. And don't forget to ring the bell too. And that will notify you every time a new video comes out from our channel. It really helps us out. And definitely go down into the comment section down below and tell me, do you think we should build it in the Red Baron form? Or there are a few other variants inside that uh, we can take a look at. And of course, there are going to be a bunch of aftermarket decals. I even have the uh, uh, one of the old wingnut kits, the, the Red Baron plane that came out a while ago. It had a set of DR1 decals inside it as well. I'm going to take a look at those and see if they're any different than the ones right here. But they, they might actually just be the same type of markings on it. But yeah, please go down there. You think I should build it in the Red Baron plane? Or some other variant because there are going to be I guess a couple inside but we'll look inside the box in a little bit there so very excited about this one been waiting a long time for it so let's get started Okay, so let's take a look at the new Ming DR or Fokker DR1 triplane. First of all, you can see the box art, really nice looking box art, and it's under their 132nd Quetzalcoatlus series. And Quetzalcoatlus is they're referring to the the giant prehistoric dinosaur flying dinosaur. And, and if you know Ming, Ming does all of their series named after dinosaur series. So this one's a flying one, and hence that's what the uh, the triplane is going to be under. Some of the different variants that they call out for paint jobs. And then, of course, we'll look inside, of course, and see how many different variants they have inside. But it's showing two, at least, on the box. The red being the most probably common one that you're probably going to see get built up because it is... Uh, Manfred von Richthofen, which is the Red Baron, famous enough. So let's take a look at those sprues. Take a look at our first sprue, which is the A sprue. 
which consists of most of the uh, the cockpit wheels machine guns you know things like that all the accessory pieces because you'll find when you're looking at the parts in this kit there actually isn't that much to this kit so it doesn't look like it's gonna be one of those really long intensive kits to build so let's take a close look at each one of the parts on the a sprue and we'll kind of just slowly pan over all of these so we've got like i said our cockpit area so we've got our seat Here's the back here with the uh, straps holding on the piece of canvas. There's the cockpit floor. Uh, machine gun. So they give you two types of machine gun setup here. One with the, the plastic cowls already put in place, as you can see on the top. And then we have the bottom ones here where we have photo etch cowls inside that you're going to have to bend to shape and wrap around. So you do get both options. Looks like you get a flare pistol. That's a unusual little pistol right there too with that big thing I think that's a flare too so kind of interesting we've got our bracing for the inside of the cockpit some of the bracing for the wings one of the tails because they actually give you a variety of different accessory pieces in this kit and then of course the other side of the side let's flip that over so you can see that too and on the other side too Next up we have our B sprue and the B sprue is mainly the entire fuselage basically. So we've got our left and right sides of the fuselage and then the three sets of wings. Now you may have heard too if you saw any people talking about it, there was kind of a flaw when they were shipping some of the early ones that this little part right here was breaking and it was shearing off this little piece because you can see it's not much actually holding it on there. Probably needed another injection gate over here or uh, for helping in packing but this one right you can see is looks okay so there's no problem with this one and we'll just show you the detail that they've put into the wing made it look like a canvas covered wing with the uh, real nice texturing they've done on it and then like I was saying you get your your different wings here not too many parts and there are three different types of propeller in this kit two on this sprue and then one on one of the other sprues next we're going to jump actually we're going to jump to the d sprue because it's sitting right here and it's got that other propeller on it i was talking about it's also got multiple different front cowls for the uh for the fuselage on here as well so the d sprue has this particular one and another propeller on there. I like when they give you stuff like that. It's easy to, for them to mold and it gives you quite a bit of options. And here is our engine sprue. Now being a former wingnut kit, you know, some of their engines are quite, uh, quite amazing, but this is a radial engine and there's not a heck of a lot to it, but it is nicely molded. Get really in tight there. And most of this engine is not really seen anyway, only the very bottom of it sticks out of the cowl. Give you an idea what that looks like right there. And some more accessory or more uh, duplicate pieces. So here are the other two front cowls I was telling you about and the, the other tail. A little variation. And oh, actually two other wheels too. So it looks like there's wheel variations on this as well. So you have just seen all of the parts, uh, except for the clear glass parts, which I'll show you right now. Flip that around like that. Very simple, little glass parts. We've got our photo etch. Those are the shrouds for the machine gun, seat belts, and a few other little accessories. And of course, they've got the, the tape on both sides to keep all the parts nice and secure in transport. And here are our, oops, let me flip that around for you guys. Here's our decal assortment. So there are, looks like three different airplanes here because we've got the, uh, the Fokker serial numbers that we put on the side of the airplane there. Nothing spectacular than a lot of the, uh, the German crosses there for the side of the airplane. Now let me pull out the instructions and we'll take a look at the way they are and see how they compare to a wingnut kit. Instructions, I just wanted to show you guys this too. There are some 
kind of hard cardstock papers inside here, mostly in Chinese, a little bit of English, and there's like pictures of like the Red Baron in here, but they're they're been hole punched as if they're going to a binder of some type. We also have some Russian here and some line drawings of like the right flyer and the actual picture of the DR1. So, but it's not duplicated in every language. The languages are all over the place in there, but the pictures only show up one time. So it's not quite sure what the heck that's all about. And now let's take a look at those instructions I was promising you. There won't be a heck of a lot. Uh, first of all, they're in color, which I appreciate quite a bit because that really helps when you go to paint things. You're like, well, is it gonna be this or not? So it's very similar to the wingnut kits in that aspect. And you can, actually they're showing here that there are four different variants. So we can do the Red Baron plane and then three other of those streaked patterns that go down the side of the fuselage. And of course there's gonna be a ton of aftermarket decals I'm sure available for this kit as well. We'll kind of just briefly go through these, give you an idea what they are. And <laughs> when they tell you that, Here's your thing, just roll it up. Make sure you roll it nice and round and there it is. But I wish they hadn't, and maybe there is, maybe there's a piece of plastic inside. I didn't notice it inside the, uh, the, the parts trees that if there was a piece of plastic that's perfect size to roll that up. And we'll have to check into that when we build ours. And then just the variation. So as you can see, there's only 19 steps in this kit. So other than painting, which is always a little bit more, that's about it when it comes to this. And I probably will do the Red Baron plane just because, you know, it's bright red, it's famous, and it'll look kind of cool sitting on my uh, display case with that. And one other thing, guys, I want to share with you, too, uh, with anticipation of the Fokker DR1 coming out, we had some t-shirts made up. And as you can see, it's some beautiful artwork on the back of a Fokker DR1 with a Sopwith camel in the background. And, of course, they have the Andy's Hobby Headquarters logo up on the front there, the sprue design. And if you look right down below the description area, you'll see that there's a Teespring account that if you would like to order one of those shirts, we have those, plus uh, many others that you can choose from. There you are, there is a quick look inside the Ming Fokker triplane and beautiful kit looks like inside, doesn't look like too many parts to have to assemble. I know I'm going to actually start mine right after I get done filming this video. Been wanting to work on an airplane for a while and I think this is going to be the perfect one. Not a lot of rigging, that's what I love about it. Uh, just some basic stuff up inside here which are mainly the control uh, for the control surfaces up on top and then a little bit of bracing for the, uh, the lower portion of the airplane. Now, we do have these kits available both in our store as well as our website, andyshq.com, if you wanna go on there and check it out. I wanna thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.